Tracy Burke here doing my vlog. So let me tell you what this week has been like. First, it started off with Sunday. I went to the Playboy Mansion and it was pretty cool. Everyone was there and we had dinner and the movie was Captain Phillips. That's the one with um, Tom Hanks is in it. But what was cool was during dinner, there was this couple that came in. There was this little blonde, short, little petite girl, and this guy. And they came in with Jeremy, one of the regulars at the mansion. And I looked and I'm like, oh my God, that's Christian Chenowitz. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Christian Chenowitz. She's on, um, oh my God, I don't even know where to start. She's on everything. Um, I love her on the Ellen Show. She's a guest on the Ellen Show a lot, but she's done Broadway, she's done plays, she sings. Uh, she was on that TV show GCB or something like that, like Gospel Girls or something like that. Uh, she's been in Wicked. She hosted the Tony Awards, I think. She's really tiny and petite. She's blonde hair. And she's just really personable, really energetic. And she's, she's just a ball of energy. And she's really short. She's shorter than me. And she's really tiny. Like, I hugged her, and she was like this. And she had complimented me on my hat. But she was there with um, the producer of um, Captain Phillips. His name is Dana Bruni? Brunitti? Brunitti? I don't know. But they were there, and he looked like a young, handsome man. And they watched the movie with half and all of us watched the movie Captain Phillips with Tom Hanks, which is a great movie. I'm gonna I love it it's a true story and it was very intense I really enjoyed it and it was really cool to be watching it in the same company of Christian Chenowitz and Dana Bruni, Bruni. so that was really cool that was Sunday now I'm scrolling through my online diary <sighs> now I'm gonna get into well before I get into the the meat of the matter, because I got some things I need to take off my chest. But before I get into that, uh, this Halloween, I think I'm going to go as a cigarette girl, like the old-fashioned cigarette girls with a tray and a cute little um, dress and corset and stuff. And I'm going to do my face like Dila de la Muertes like this skeleton face, if you look at Dead, Day of the Dead, uh, stuff like that. If you Google Day of the Dead, you'll see what it I means. It's kind of like this um, skeleton face. Because I figured, you know, I'll be selling cigarettes and stuff. And it'll be kind of like, you know, selling death sticks or whatever. And um, because I got this idea because whenever I go out places and people that smoke, they never have cigarettes. And they're always buying them. And I always say, I'm going to sell cigarettes. I'm going to have cigarettes. And I'm going to just make a bunch of money. And then that's where I got the idea. So that's what I'm going to be. So I'm going to have a, this tray. So I figured I'm going to go buy some cheap cigarettes to fill in my tray. So I went to Rite Aid. And I went to go get a carton of Parliaments. Because I think that's where I noticed a lot of people smoking is Parliaments. I don't know. So I, I asked for two cartons. I wanted regular and light. The checkout girl said, that'll be $134, please. And I'm like, $134 for two cartons of cigarettes? Uh, I'll just take one. And it was $67 for one carton. And I think it's like 12 packs in a carton. I'm like, oh my God, how do people smoke? That is so expensive. And I know that's cheaper because you buy them a carton. A lot of times they buy them per pack. So... That just baffles my mind. How do you guys do it? That smoke, really? So, while well, I got my carton of cigarettes, and I'm, I'm gonna have to make my outfit do, which is 12 packs of cigarettes, so, in my case, so I don't know what I'm gonna do to make it look full. I don't know if I wanna buy any more. It's a waste, because I don't smoke. I mean, I guess I could give it away for a Christmas gift, but by then it'll be stale, right? So, I don't know about that. That's my outfit that I think I'm going to be, but I haven't got it completed yet. 
and it's like Thursday already. It's like, what, the 24th or something like that? All the parties are this weekend. Uh, there's a party at the mansion. I'm not sure if I'm going to go yet or not because it's not really a party. It's made by the Karma Foundation, which is a little different. And sometimes they make you go through the haunted mazes. Like before, I could have picked if I wanted to go through the haunted maze and just go straight into the party, which I usually do because I don't like to be scared. I don't. I don't like haunted houses. I don't want to be scared. I'm not a fan. I have bad equilibrium problems. <laughs> Scaring really does stop my heart. I think I'm going to have a heart attack. Um, I fall. Uh, I'm accident prone. Uh, I have reactions to punch. Uh, just not a good idea. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to go yet. I might, but then I might not. I might just stay close to home. Selling my cigarettes. Selling my death sticks. And I need to practice my De La De La Muerta's makeup because I have no idea how to do that. So maybe I'll make a video of me practicing this weekend, maybe. So, so if you go on to my online uh, diary, which is romantictorture.com, I put a, a little vlog on there that um, basically says, Control Your Wife. And this is the note. First I'm going to read you the note and then I'll kind of get into it. This is the note I put on my online diary. Note to everyone, if you have an issue with me, I would appreciate you to tell me personally in a nice way and not by going behind my back, by telling, texting, messaging, calling, or emailing my husband in an attempt for my husband to tell, control, handle, reprimand, yell, scold, get mad, etc. at me. I'm an adult. I lived alone for over 20 years before I had a husband. Besides, my husband can never, he cannot ever control me or tell me what to do. He can only request me to do something. And the same goes for everyone else. The decision is still in my control. When you go behind my back and contact my husband with your concerns about me, it only adds stress in our marriage. And it makes you a rat because my husband tells me. Yes, he tells me. It makes you a rat because my husband tells me and at times he'll even show me your texts your voicemails, your messages, etc. So really you're not accomplishing anything by going about it in your own little cowardly way. It would just be better for everyone if you confront me personally, yourself, unless you get your kicks out of putting stress on your friend's marriage. If this is the case, then you are not a true friend to anybody. That was my note. Anonymous, to just anonymous, um, anonymous. I can't say the word. Just random people, and they interchange. You never know who it is. I mean, I don't know if some marriages are like this or some relationships are like this. But um, when you have a, a close friends and stuff like that, gender-wise, guys or girls, I'm sure it could go both ways. You know, girls probably do this too. But in my situation, and I have a friend that had this situation as well. If, like say a bunch of guys and they have friends and, and then married couple. If the woman does something that the, that the group doesn't really appreciate or like. They might like email or text or tell the husband in hopes that the husband will do something about it. And I understand maybe some people they just don't want to cause a scene. They're thinking maybe the husband has a more diplomatic way of going about it. But it's still cowardly and it does add stress on the relationship. And because it puts the husband in an awkward position because his friends 
See, that's when that's like a reflection. If his wife acts a certain way, it kind of reflects on him. So he has this manly thing, like he doesn't want his reputation ruined or anything like that or be talked about. So it reflects. So he feels like he has to do something about it because his friends doesn't approve or has a concern about something. So he kind of goes on the friend's side more than the wife's side and he tries to do something about it just because he feels like he's the one being scrutinized, so to speak. I mean, there's a few, I guess, husbands that go to bat for the wife and say, you know what, mind your own damn business. If you have a problem, you tell her yourself. That would be awesome if that was the case, but not always. So, um, yeah, they'll tell the husband. So the husband, like, tells the wife. And that doesn't go off very well. Because first of all, you're thinking, being the wife, you're thinking, oh my god, everyone's talking about me. And sometimes the concerns are, are mighty, like, tiny little microscope, I can't even talk, minute, minute, little, nothing concerns. This is a lot easier if you just confront her personally or them personally, instead of putting stress on the marriage, because it just, it doesn't work out. I could see maybe friends would be a different thing, but when people are married, it's different. Because the wife might not like, oh my God, everyone's talking about me. Everyone's like complaining about me to you. And then, oh, and then if I do what you say, I'm gonna look like I'm controlled. It's just, there. it's just not good. So note to everyone, if you know a married couple and one person's doing something, it's best if you just confront the person personally. Now I understand there's going to be exceptions to the rules and sometimes you might want to go to the spouse if it's a nice thing, but this is, sub this is a sensitive subject. So, um, and then lots of times the friends will like say something to the husband like, oh, your wife is doing this, your wife is doing that. And then when I see him on the street, hey, how you doing? Oh, and then they act like they don't, like nothing, oh, it's all him, oh, I didn't ever say that, I don't know what you're talking about. I just don't understand why everyone just can't be honest. If you have a problem, if you have a concern, or a misconception, or you think something's going on, but nothing's going on, or whatever it is, just man up, or be a woman, woman up, and confront the person personally. But I know that doesn't really happen very often and I I can't control what other people say or do so I'm sure it's going to happen again. But anyway, uh, I'll probably get more into this situation later but because uh, obviously there's more to the story. That's it for now, until I add more. Thank you.